Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 2, and, uh, oh, I'm still recovering from yesterday because I'm still exhausted, but, uh, I got a stream. I'm a little late today. It's, uh, 9.30 instead of 9, uh, but it's fine. And also, I'm thinking that I should really start plugging my Twitter account because that's where I post updates on the stream and stuff like that. I post it on Twitter mainly because I don't like to spam Facebook too much. Twitter is more for those short messages. So do go check me out if you want to keep updated. Twitter.com slash Gamerzak, unified branding. But uh, let's get into the game. So we just finished Broken Hills. Broken Hills is this nice little mining town. We, we did a bunch of stuff. We, there was a talking plant. We killed an intelligent rad scorpion. We got some people arrested. And mainly, we now have Marcus the Mutant, Sheriff of Broken Hills, who's our companion. And he's got a Gatling gun, which is fantastic. Also, just off screen a bit, I've done a bit of inventory management. I've cleaned some stuff out, but also, I've uh, dumped a lot of stuff into the car trunk. I've also sold a lot of my crap as well. Look at all this stuff. All this stuff is in the car trunk. I don't really know what it's for, some of it. Um, some painting, there's a pocket lint, ammo, guns, things to sell basically. Some uh, first aid kits, stuff like that. And uh, I wanted to see if we can actually refuel the car. And I think I know how I looked it up. You click on the car, go to the bag icon, click on those fusion cells and you charge the car with more power. Perfect. So we can refuel the car with our ammo, which um, I think someone's holding on to, or, it, or it's in the car trunk or something like that. But we got 4,700 uh, caps there. 12 stim packs, couple jet. We're mainly using this uh, scoped hunting rifle now. I went ahead and bought all this ammo, the uh, 223 FMJ. And we're wearing Metal Armor Mark II. Uh, and unfortunately, Vic has to stay behind. No more Vic in our party because uh, we're limited to three companions. Anyway, let's, uh, let's jump into the car because we're heading to NCR. Finally, NCR's down here. And we've been looking to get to NCR since we're in Vault City, where we're right up here. So we're at the den, and then we came all the way over to this side, Vault City and Gecko. And then we got a car part from Gecko, I think. So we went back to the den, and then we drove down to Redding, New Reno, Broken Hills, and finally, the New California Republic, and there's Vault 15 there. So we should be getting close to the vault we're looking for. We're looking for Vault 13, but uh, we're just gonna drive straight down. Our fuel should be okay. Let's drive right to the edge of the NCR. I'm not sure if we'll come across anything. I don't see anything. Unknown. Oh. Do you wish to encounter a man guarding a bridge? Sure. For some reason, I think I should save my game in a brand new slot. <laughs> it literally said that. Okay, save my game in a brand new slot. A brand new slot. Done. What's that? Is that a... That's a rock. This is one of those special encounters. I think this is my first special encounter. Wait, my car is on the other side. Okay. You see the Keeper of the Bridge of Death. <laughs> is, this, is this a Monty Python reference? I don't remember this, but I do remember Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see if I can remember the answers. Stop! Who would cross the Bridge of Death must answer me these questions three. Ere be the other side, he see. Ask me the questions, Bridge Keeper. I'm not afraid. What is your name? Gamerzak of Arroyo. What is your quest? To search for the Holy Gek. How much can a person with a strength of six carry assuming he has a strong back perk? How many levels of the strong back perk does the person have? <laughs> is this body just gonna slide off? screen 
Okay, then. What's over there? Robed figure was hit for 990 hit points and was killed. Let's search his body. He had... Bridge keeper robes. I'm gonna take it. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, we got 500 experience points from that. I was not expecting a Monty Python reference to start off the day. But, uh... Yeah, there's, there's actually no way to escape here. Uh, okay. Nice of them to tell us to put a new save. Uh, let's get in the car again. Resume our journey. There we go. Bridge is right there. Now let's uh, head in to the NCR. Alright. Huh. So the NCR. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty big town. Um... Maybe it's not a big town? Where's, um... There's no... Oh wait, there we go. There, it is a pretty big town. We gotta get through there. But let's check. This, this reminds me of Vault City. Let's have a look around out here first. Who's gonna... Oh, we should put our guns away. Um... Who's holding a gun out? I think Cassidy's holding yeah. his gun out? Uh... Talk to you about your gear. What a sure. Okay, put your weapon away. You make sure to be nice to Mr. Buster so we don't have to waste any ammo. Hi, Vladimir Ryu. Welcome to the stream. The NCR bah. Why? You don't like the NCR? I'm not particularly taking sides. I'm just wondering why you don't like the NCR. Uh, let's... a gun shop? Let's have a look. Hello? Hey, welcome to Buster's fine emporium of armament. I'm Buster and there ain't nobody else... Got some fine goods for sale here. If you don't see something you like, then... Make sure you can check out my shelves for additional products. I'm bound to have something that'll tickle your fancy. I've got some questions. That's nice, stranger, but I ain't no charity. Okay. What have you got? Uh, he's got money. He's got 5mm JHP. He's got this H and K G11. This is the thing I gave... I, I actually have one of these. I gave it to uh, Marcus to hold because it's a big weapon. I thought it was an energy weapon. It's not. Uh, okay, nothing particularly on him. Uh, can you fix me up something special? Maybe. Just might have a travel... A triveled? Ten times rifle scope would fit just fine on a hunting rifle if somebody was interested. Let it go cheap 500. No thanks, it's fine. I've already got a scoped rifle. But he said, check out the shelves, which uh, reminds me, I should um, pick a quick save slot. There we go. So he said, check out the shelves. Let's have a look. Here's what I have on the shelf. If you need anything else, make sure to check out other shelves also. Okay, interesting shop mechanic. That looks the same as before. Is it going to be different on the other shelves? Oh, it is different. AP Needler Cartridge. Dynamite Rope. Metal Armor. Okay. I wonder if the money is actually different on each shelf. Ah, Vladimir Ryu. Where to start? They're greedy, corrupt. And as shown on New Vegas, all about the land and cash. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, let's look at this Iguana Bits guy. Hungry stranger, I got the best lizard around. Ask anybody. What can you tell me about this town? Look, I got a rule. I don't say anything about nobody. It's a good rule because if I keep my mouth shut, I keep out a lot of trouble. Capiche? Sorry for troubling you. Okay. So, I don't know what this is. Is this some kind of prison, or is this a slave trade? I can't quite tell. You see a miserable wretch of a human being. Huh, I'm not sure. But let's go things one at a time. There's this guy here. A thin-looking punk. That's a fine transport, man. Truly fine. Oh man, I am the one for you. Watch your car. Keep it safe from the bed bugs. Five bucks, no problem. Five bucks and the doofus is on the job. Never sleep 24 hours, always there, man. What place is this? 
This is the NCR, the high, mighty, righteous, absolutely and always correct new California Republic. They are the ones who will lead people like us out of the wasteland and into the new and perfect future. Can you dig it? Let's get this business finished. Five bucks to watch the car? It's not a lot of money. Uh, yeah, just take it. Doofus will perform, man. Not even a fly is gonna land his shit on your automobile. Good, shut up, I guess. All right. Let's take things step at a time. Uh, I think I saw, yeah, there's a saloon down there. So we'll be, hello? What you be need? Wait, why was Sulik in here? Okay, it's a bathroom. That's fine. <laughs> Let's um, check here. A bulletin board. Welcome to the new California Republic. Before entering our fair city, please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the following rules and regulations. No weapons may be openly carried inside city limits. Obeying the law is good citizenship. Persons found under the influence of alcohol or drugs will be arrested. Good, there won't be any drugs or junkies pressing to fix money for you. Slavery, gambling, and prostitution are not permitted within the city limits. Is that why there's all those slaves outside the city limits? Looks like they're trying to create a respectable, decent community for people to live in. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. A dumbass will get his butt kicked just as fast as a smartass. Equality before the law is a good thing. If you can't live by these laws, get the hell, then get the hell out. It's a little blunt, but it does get the point across. Okay. No weapons, no drugs, no alcohol. No slavery. And who are you? You see a woman in the armored uniform of the NCR. What can I do for you, stranger? I'd like to get into NCR. Hmm, well, you look respectable enough. What's your name? I've got to put it in the logbook. Gamerzak. All right, then. I'll have the gate open for you in just a second. Oh, very nice. Let's not try and steal anything in front of her. Oh, look, the lasers are down. Fantastic. Joseph S., welcome to the stream. How in the world did you find this live? Well... I stream at the same time every weekend, <laughs> so that that's a that's a thing. Uh, 9 a.m. today, 9:30, a bit late, but 9 a.m. GMT plus eight, Saturday and Sunday morning, Friday evenings or nights if you're in the Americas. Now this looks like a bar. Let's learn some stuff. Drinking and talking. Uh huh. If you're looking for work, okay, none of that. There's some people in the back room there. This is a big mutant here. Watch out, Lenny ain't got no tame muty like- uh, okay, right. Ain't no tame muty like the one you got now, okay. Let's talk to the barkeep. Mira's the name, what do you have, stranger? Information. You're gonna buy a drink? Ten bucks. Sure, why not. So that it, stranger? Got a little time for some questions? Sure, I got, I got some time. That's what bartenders are supposed to do. Just don't get no ideas. Tell me about this town. Name's NCR, used to be Shady Sands. Shady Sands is from Fallout 1, I think. Shady Sands. But after the Master's defeat, Aradesh and the other founded the Republic. Now NCR sits right on the border. Everything south of here is Republic ruled. Wait, if sh this is Shady Sands. I think in Fallout 1, you travel... You travel like southeast to get to Shady Sands, right? In Fallout 1? Which means the Vault 13 should be to the west of here. West, maybe slightly north. Right, okay. Now NCR sits right on the border. Everything south of here is Republic ruled. Okay. Few more questions. Uh, I'll say, hmm. Word of advice, keep your nose clean in town. Courts aren't too friendly on our type, if you know what I mean. Citizens got more rights than you. Few more questions. Ever heard of Vault 13? Yeah, another one of them wackos looking for a lost treasure. You ought to see, go see Salt Beef Bob over at Weston's Ranch. He's always talking about treasure. You may have have to wet his whistle though. A few more questions. Looking for a thing called a geck. You tell me how to mix it and I'll pour it for you. It's a Garden of Eden creation kit. Sounds technical, you might try looking up Dorothy the City Engineer. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, that's fine. Let's talk to the back room. 
Vladimir Ryu, you got BIOSYS working! <laughs> Fantastic! I'm, I'm happy my instructions for BIOSYS worked. Um, why don't you move on out? I'm Merc, what do you want? Looking for information. Knowledge costs, am I clear? Here's 50 bucks. Well, I am a learned man. What's your question? Ever heard of Vault 13? Just so happens I've got a map to Vault 13. It's only a thousand bucks. You interested? And I got you've got, and I bet you've got a bridge to sell to. I'm not that gullible. Hey man, a, a man's got to try. Vault 13's practically a religion around here. They've even built a statue to some chump who supposedly came from there. That's all I know. Got more questions? No, no, I got all the facts I need. That's fine. Mr. Merc. <laughs> yeah, Anand. Welcome to the stream. Fallout 2 again after all these years? Yeah, why not? Welcome to the NCR. Keep, uh, keep the weapons holstered. Yeah, okay. We gotta get the gate open again. I'd like to get in. Game Zack. Okay. Alright. Let's head into the city. I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh wait, no, there's totally someone over there. I am I am definitely missing something. And I didn't go up here either. Alright, let's talk to these guys. It's a heap of rags that might have a person in it. Junk for sale, junk for sale, look it over, make me an offer. You look like you're good with your hands. You do have hands, don't you? I can fix up all sorts of stuff. Got me a blower, named it Claudia. Fit it, fit most any car. Give it a lot more power, only a thousand bucks. I'd, the car is very important. More power, does that mean faster? Yeah, you bet. Claudia's my kind of whatever. Well, give me six hours, I should have, have it fixed up by then. Before you do a little of your time, what's for sale? He's got a thousand bucks. We could probably sell things to him to get our money back. What's that? Junk? That's it? Okay. I've got five bucks. You got any good gossip? Heard there's a doc here in town says he's got a miracle cure. I ain't taking it though. Here's another fiver. Then there's Salt Beef Old Coot says he's found a gold mine. Alright, thanks for the info. So we're looking for a few people. Salt Beef is one. I think, what was the other name? Claudia, I think? Vladimir asking, what's my heritage? I don't like going into specifics, but it's... Uh, I'm Eurasian and I live in Malaysia. That's, that's pretty much it. Now, we're in the NCR. Town inhabitant? Maybe we can do lunch. They're so civilized. Alright, what are we dealing with here? So this leads back out. Not sure if there's anything in there. I don't think... It's a bit hard to see at night. We've got a little bit of a farm going here. More of the town that way. There's a hospital. Okay, we got a... Oh! Brotherhood of Steel. Nice little park there too. Water. Alright, I guess we'll just take things one step at a time. Here's the sheriff's office. For the last two towns, talking to the sheriff got us what we needed. Um, where's the sheriff? Are these just guards? This sheriff's office looks a bit more organized than the previous ones we've been to. Let's check his desk. Oh! Mentats, Antidote, Buff Out, Stim Pack. Very well. Uh, don't want to steal from right in front of the guards. Maybe the sheriff's not here at night time? Let's try wait until morning. Uh, morning. No sheriff? This is the sheriff's office, right? Oh, he's a sheriff. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, welcome stranger, I'm Deputy Carl, what can I do for you? I'm new to NCR, what can you tell me about your town? 
This is NCR, capital, New California Republic, population 3,000 and growing. No slavery, no gambling, no drugs. President is Mrs. Tandy, my boss's Sheriff Dumont. That answer your question? I've got some other questions. I'm looking for Vault 13. So when... So did I when I was a kid. Let me know if you find it. Hmm. Got some other questions. I'm looking for some honest work. So I think I could have asked the bartender outside for work as well. But let's try keep it honest here. Work. The Stockman's Association is looking for guards. Raiders been hitting the cattle drives hard again. And I heard that President Tandy's been looking for somebody resourceful, as she puts it. That help? Yeah. President Tandy. And what's this? There's guards everywhere here. This is Stockman's Association. Oh, this is the guy you just mentioned. Don't know you from these parts? That means you're not a rancher. You come looking for work? Oh, bye. I don't want to work for you right now. Uh, make sure to look at uh, all my tables for more inventories. Don't like what I got? Get your ass. Okay. What do you sell? Geiger counter. What is that? H&K cause. That's a sniper rifle of some kind? Alright. There's some good stuff here. I don't really want to work on caravan stuff. I think that's a caravan thing. This is this is someone's home? Oh, okay. Actually, let's let's just ask him what work he does have. Did that woman just come out of there? Okay. Work. Well, my name's Dupo, Ranch Supplies and Hiring Hall. All done right here. Gotta say, you don't look like the Brahmin puncher. How are you with the gun? Good enough. Well, sounds like you'll do. We're looking for guards for a Brahmin drive up to Reading. No, I don't want to go to Reading. All right. And it looks like there's a gambling room at the back. You notice a small hole in the door where sound seems to be coming from. Hello? Since when could doors talk? Sorry, we don't need any of that. Okay. So there's a secret gambling ring at the back. Uh, let's check here. Getting your bearings in a new city in Fallout 2 is always a, a little tricky. What is this? Some kind of surveillance? Who is that? You see a pudgy guy with a shiny bald head and thick lensed gla glasses. Excuse me, I'm Dr. Henry and I'm very busy. What do you want? I'm Gimzak, the Chosen One. I'm looking for Vault 13. The Chosen One? Of course, that makes sense. Interesting. I'm afraid I can't help you. I was assigned to cybergenetics research, not the Vault Behavioral Project. What are you talking about? Oh, my. I've said more than I should already. Never mind. If anybody asked, I didn't say anything. Okay. Revi, you finally made it to the stream. It's 3.53 a.m. for you. <laughs> Hello. All right, it's a church. What do these guys worship? Oh, striking woman in a long robe. Greetings, child. Are you one of the enlightened? Well, I am the chosen one. Chosen one, don't you mean AHS1? Just what techs are you working from? AHS1? Aligned Hub Seeker. You're obviously not enlightened. Well, why don't you enlighten me? Never mind, let's leave. Well, here is Dusty's Cantina. All right, let's see Dusty's Cantina. Nice little, oh, is the door open? Hello. You see a dumpy looking bald guy polishing a glass. What can I get for you? Who's the big guy over there? That's Hoss, President Tandy's boy, born trouble when he's drinking. So I'll stay clear of him if I were you. President Tandy, daughter of President Aradesh, the guy who founded NCR. She's been president for years, does a good job too. And she's looking for a specialist. What kind? Don't know. Gunther, her aide, probably does. He's down at the Hall of Congress. Would you like a drink? Well, I'd like to barter. See what you got. 
Jared Moreno. Welcome to the stream. You've never played Fallout 2, but it looks fun. It is probably what people consider to be the best Fallout. Because it's like Fallout 1, but better. <laughs> I mean, not, not saying Fallout 1 is bad in any way. It's just the, uh, the, the developers added so much more content, so much more stuff. Hey you, Turdface, I don't like you. I think you should buy me a drink. Uh, I don't think I have the strength to, to take him on. But, I'm gonna say bite me. Uh, should I? Yeah, bite me. So you think you're tough? I'm gonna wipe your ass all over the floor. Bare fist right here, right now. Do I get my allies on this? Uh, how do I? <laughs> I think I gotta unequip my... My gun. Snap kick. He's wielding spiked knuckles. He's got a weapon. That's not fair. And he's got 78 hit points. Oh, Sulik's gonna join in? Oh, fantastic. Oh, we're gonna be fine then. Oh, Hoss was hit for no damage. Sulik's doing no damage. Did Cassidy just pull out his gun? Oh no, Sulik's doing some damage. Oh, damn, Cassidy, can you... Hoss was critically hit for 51 points, knocking the air out. He slumps to the ground out of the, uh, out of the fight. Can we end combat? <laughs> Cassidy just came in with a shotgun and says, that guy picked up fight. He's like, you, me, gun, uh, like, fight now. And, and Cassidy just came in and shot him for, well, probably shot him in the head. Cassidy, put your weapon away. Yeah. My gear. What a sure can't promise. All right. <laughs> um, is he dead? It's Hoss. Well, we can take his stuff. I don't think he's dead. Right? He's not dead, right? He's not dead. I can still access his inventory even though he's standing up. Oh well. I guess that's that. Let's pop into the hospital. Dr. Phil, welcome to the stream. Your girlfriend wants to know where your accent is from. Well, um... I have English heritage, but I live in Malaysia. That, that's pretty much that. Um, so it's a mix of Asian and English, I guess. I'm Doc Jubilee. What's wrong, young man? I need a doctor? Do I? I don't know. Don't think I can save it. We may have to cut it that leg off. You're kidding. Nope, never joke. Best I cut the leg off before gangrene sets in. No way you're cutting anything off, understand? Well, if it festers, don't blame me. Hell, you're hardly bleeding. It'll cost you 50 bucks. I'm not staying here. No, no. I don't wanna... I don't need any help. There's so much stuff in here. What is that? Poison? Heart pills? Can I just take all of this? I can't carry that much. Well, let's... I'm at my maximum carrying capacity already? Cassidy. What you be need? Oh, fine, you. Just take all these things I've recently acquired. Ammo can be quite heavy as well. Hold on to these robes and that rock as well. At least I don't have a, a Singlish accent. Well, Singlish accent is, well, it's not the same, but it'll, it'll be about... Oh, he caught me stealing. <laughs> uh, fine. Um, no, well, it's, it's kind of a Malaysian accent, I guess. Uh, whoa there, son, you can't be messing with that stuff. I just measured out Mr. Weston's dose and wouldn't want him getting the wrong meds now. What in the blazes do you think you're doing? Um... Honestly, not expecting you to be that observant. I guess I'm going to have to improvise. 
I was just trying to look at these pills you have on the shelf there. Were you now? Dr. Billy regards you coolly. I guess you are might young to be suffering from a bum ticker. Um, and you'd be right. I'm asking for my friend Cassidy, older fella. He's got a bad heart and traveling the waste is getting kind of rough on him. That's true. He does complain about his heart. Oh, son, I wish I could help you, but I'm not taking on any new patients right now. Council's got me on a retainer. Can't sell you no pills, neither. Councilman Weston's people are just supposed to pick those ones up in 14 days. And just ain't no way I'm going to have time to mix another batch before then. Hmm. I understand, Doc. Maybe I'll find a decent pharmacist somewhere else. If it's not too much to ask, though, is there any advice you could give me on the subject? You don't find medicine like that too often. Those are the breaks, I guess. Anyways, I should be all right. Picked up tons about cardamomogy from old comic books. Cut the heart chems back to twice a day. Tops. Uh, it should get... Um, I'll ask him to teach me, I think. Let's see. For starters, you should probably stop doing, well, near to just about everything ought to cover it. No drinking, no smoking, no red meat, no chems. Try to get half hour a day. Exercise, mild exercise. Take it easy. Life ain't a race. Okay. More important, you need to find a half decent chemist and tell him you need, uh, need set up with regular supply of triproxenol. Wasteland stock ain't gonna be as fancy. Uh huh. Now you gotta be sure to drink plenty of water. Blah blah blah. Yes yes. Oh, and if you do go through one of the Reno hucksters. Uh huh. So does that mean he took all that back? I kept some of it. Alright, he, he took back the heart pills and the poison. I can see why you wouldn't want to mix those two up. But I did get these things. I got a first aid book. Let's read it. You learn new ways to heal injury. My first aid must be pretty high now. I've read a lot of those books. Where's first aid? 55%. That's pretty good. A bit ways off from leveling. Alright, there's a few more buildings here. Did I check out that building? I did. Let's just check over here. Got three more buildings and... The Brotherhood of Steel. Another bathroom? They have a lot of bathrooms. Let's talk to Brotherhood of Steel. Wait, we were supposed to go here, right? I remember, let me check, status from the den. Didn't I, didn't the Brotherhood of Steel guy in the den tell me to go to NCR? Well, we'll find out. What is this? They are heavily armed here. There is a big super mutant with a laser rifle of some kind. A pretty young woman dressed in combat clothes. Let's talk to her first. What do you want? Who are you? I'm Elise. That's Gond. We're members of a group that's trying to do right for folks. Sounds interesting. Right in what way? Alright, so tell me. What's your opinion of slavers? Hate them. Disgusting. Vile scum of the earth. I see. Well, I represent a group called New California Rangers. Someone with views such as yours could qualify for membership. You interested? Sounds interesting. What can you tell me about the Rangers? We've got agents and sympathizers in some of the towns up north. We're spreading the word and hitting slavers wherever we can. I'll think about it. Well, we're always looking for people to further our cause. If you change your mind, I sure uh, now. Um, yeah, I'm sure. For now. Don't just join things the first time you hear about them. You gotta go find what other people say. Now, there's a robot over here. Who are you? A young woman, very much a tomboy, dressed in work overalls. Name's Dorothy, three cities engineer. That's Toto. Got to run. Dorothy's a city engineer. That's the person we're supposed to talk to about finding the vault, but she seems a little busy. That's fine. Now, let's just check out this last building in this area. The Brotherhood of Steel. Are there... Are the old Fallout games anything like the new ones? Um... <laughs> well... They're obviously not first person. 
New Vegas is said to have the, the best writing of the new Fallout, so it's probably more like that. But it's nothing like Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is not even a, really an RPG anymore. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Hello, Game Zach. Well, you've certainly come a long way from the simple tribesman. tribesman. You should visit our San Francisco office sometime. You might find it rewarding. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be going. San Francisco, that's where we're supposed to be going. Okay. So, we're no longer seen as a tribesman, but still need to get to San Fran, which would be West Coast. And I think that's all for this area. So yeah, I think we can take a break right here before we move on to the next section. And uh, yeah, good progress. We've made, uh, we need to go see the president. President, what was it? Tardy or something like that? And uh, apparently she has work for me. All right, so I'm going to take a break. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and stick around. I will see you in the next part. Bye. <laughs>